What's up everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today I want to talk about the six levels of the Iron Man riff. Once again, it seems like a simple riff. A lot of people sort of say, ah, oh, whatever, it's Iron Man. Just like, ah, oh, it's smoke in the water, it smells like teen spirit. But to me, it's interesting, man. But to me, it's so important to honor these riffs because they were such a big part of my life. They are such a big part of my life. And I've played them wrong a lot in my life. And I really want to rectify that situation by being able to teach the different levels of it. So wherever you guys want to play it, you have the choice and you won't go playing it the wrong way for half your life like I did. Okay, so the first way I want to do it is the way I first played it when I first started guitar, and that's starting on the open E string. Now it's gonna sound pretty cool because it's a low E, it's got some depth to it. We're gonna try it with one string and we're gonna use multiple fingers. So here's what we're gonna have. We move up and we do this. When you start guitar, this could be fun at first, and then you get to the higher part, and this little exchange could be a little difficult. A lot of people do this. I'll just give you a quick lesson tip here. It's a waste of movement. You can leave your index finger down and just go. So I teach a lot of my beginning students this riff because it helps them with that concept. And then. So that's level one. Level two is where you take that idea of the one string and we move it over to the 5th string 2nd fret because that's actually the real note that it starts on, B. So we're going to do the same thing. And that's great because you're at least in the key of the song so when you're playing along to it, it sounds decent. Uh, the only problem is it sounds a little bit weak because it is a single string. Even though they do that in the verse, you want the main riff to sound more powerful. And that sounds pretty good. That can get you by for a long time. Then, eventually, like what I realized is that Tony Iommi moves a lot of this stuff to the sixth string and the fifth string. And he plays instead of a B here, he'll play it here. And it actually does give it more depth. A lot of people leave comments saying it's the same note, who cares how you play it? But if you listen to the difference in sound, this is the B on the fifth string. And now a B power chord starting on the sixth string got a darker sound to it, doesn't it? So when you play the riff here versus here, it's definitely a difference. So quit saying it doesn't matter. Okay, so down here again. And now here. These uh, little frets are nice up here, because we're going to be going. So to me, that sounds a lot fatter, a lot more true, and I like the sound of it. So that's going to be level four. When you get to level five, you do the same thing we just did, except now we're gonna add the slides finally. So what I like to say when I'm teaching this is pick, 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 slide, pick, pick, slide, pick, slide. You know, I just have a way of saying it so it follows the rhythm. So that was pick, 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 slide, pick. By the way, that's really hard for a lot of beginners to do. Because every time they slide down, they don't time it right when they come back and they don't make contact right when their fingers hit the 15th fret. So work on that slow and really lock that in. Important. Pick slide, pick slide, pick slide. And then we drop down to the 10th fret. We do two picks, slide and pick. Put it together, pick some slides, and you get this. Now, if you really don't care about the, the real fine details, then just play it the way you, I just played it. Level five is totally fine. It'll get you through a lot of situations. But if you want to add the last couple of details that bump this up to level six, which I find to be fun when you add those little things, you end up with these little tiny changes. For example, when you first play the first couple notes, there's a little quick rest in there. Right there. Okay. It's not that long, but it's going to be shorter. And then you finish up the next part. Put it together, you get this. That rest can be accomplished just by lifting off the pressure of that note, okay? So it's a good way of de deadening the strings. Just like that. Now here's probably the biggest difference between level 5 and level 6. When you do this next part, the third one's going to be different than the first two. 
See the difference? So instead of going, which is like kind of an audio illusion, your ear wants to hear it that way for some reason. And so you, you got to go against that instinct. And on the third one, slow it all the way down to the 10th fret instead. Now I say slide because you do make a slide sound, but you pick it once you get there. So it's a slide to a pick. Okay, then there's another quick little lift off. So there's a tiny bit of a rest there and then finish it off. There's one more detail, but we're gonna wait for that for one second. Okay, so let's play the whole thing again. close now. There's one last thing. Let's see if anyone knows what it is. It seems in insignificant, just like a lot of these details might, but it's not. There's a big slide at the very end, so be honest and let me know if you actually got that right. Okay, so at the very end you're gonna go... I've seen him do that, where he just kind of goes up and comes down. I've seen him go... and just slide from where he's at, which is the E to the 12th fret, and that sounds fine too. I kind of like the one string. I hear that more in the recording. Sounds great. If you ever play War Pigs, you'll know that those slides are very important. So let's go ahead and play the whole thing more at full speed uh, with, all the de with all the details. So anyways, let's try to honor the uh, the metal gods, if you will, and try to play the riffs as close as possible and uh, just to see what it's actually like. And then, like I said before, take it anywhere you want, make it yours, uh, add some of your own original ideas if you want to. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. I got to see Black Sabbath live one time in my life, and I'll never forget how powerful their riffs were and how powerful just their whole performance was. It was great to see it. And I really wanted to honor the riffs of Tony Iommi because his music is such a big part of my guitar playing. A uh, huge influence on me. So check out the Tony Iommi Artist Series to get some more details on other songs. But as for now, good luck with Iron Man and uh, have fun. Okay, see ya.